I have had a passive, very passive, because every so often I get a little update on this guy. And I'm interested in this, in the progression of this person. I don't know when this started. Um, but we have a thread on Finster, who is a Minecraft YouTuber, former Minecraft YouTuber. His main Minecraft YouTube channel has over half a million subscribers. And he did for years. And he was basically just like a YouTuber. Um, he's, he's quite young. He started out young. He got popular on YouTube. And he started doing Minecraft like live streams, and he would chop down that content into, from what I understand, into VODs that he put on his YouTube channel. But he was a very successful Twitch streamer that played Minecraft. Now, I don't know. Listen, I'm not like, a, I, I've never I've never been much of a, a Twitch watcher. I'm to, too old for that. But if you were to ask me what age I think would be most, what demographic would be most interested in Minecraft Let's Play content on Twitch, I would say 13 to 18-year-old boys. Just... You know, I know that little girls like to play Minecraft too, um, but as far as like watching like some dude play Minecraft, I think that'd be mostly boys, and I think that would probably be thirteen to eighteen, maybe even younger because you know it's Minecraft. <laughs> I literally once set up a private server for um, my cousins and their school, and it was like you know the middle school, elementary school kids love Minecraft, so yeah. Th very young kids like Minecraft content, um, which is why it's it's pretty fucking horrifying that there's like creeper porn on on Pornhub and stuff because it's like they inject porn into everything. Anyways, that's not relevant to Finster. Finster, my my point was that Finster's audience probably was quite young. At some point, this guy like loses a bet or something and starts dressing feminine and. He is then, like, literally, he's like a, an icon for gay for pay. Because from what I understand, there were people who have given him tens of thousands of dollars to do girl stuff. And um, over time, it just became his identity. Like, he started wearing the dress more often. He's always maintained that he's a guy. There's a very, like, he did Omegle trolling videos where he put on the, the dress and... and uh, look feminine because of his angles and filters and then you get on a megal and they would start chatting them up like he's a girl and he even had like a girl voice and then he would um reveal that he's a man and they've been hitting on a man and it would freak them out so that's what happened um at some point in the last year finster has started identifying as gender fluid which um i think was a surprise to some people for whatever reason um and then I got this update because this Leighton Mysteries guy keeps track of Finster. Um, and uh, he posted this in the Community Happening Store, and I immediately knew that this was fucked up. Finster announced months ago, this is from March uh, 30th, that he intended to uh, start a charity in the UK. I'll let him I I'll wanted just to set this. something up that was similar to gender gp but this is him by the way yeah for whatever reason I, I i forget that not everybody is familiar with this shit when i posted this on twitter i got a lot of comments asking me why i had dubbed this video with a man's voice um this is the original audio just so that we're clear a non-profit something that doesn't take any any money out now this is something i really want to get involved with i think i've found some good people to do it with and we're actually beginning trials really soon that's what i've been working on the past couple weeks it's really difficult and to be honest with you, I'm not going to be able to say what it is for a while. But what I can say is there's an email. And so he explains why, by the way, I'm just very clear. The editing in this is very obvious, um, but he explains why he doesn't want to say exactly what it is. And then he just he hints so clearly that it's obvious what it is. The description, because we're looking for any EU or UK medical doctors who want to be involved in trans healthcare. I know even for doctors that do work with the NHS, this kind of sucks, it's not on them. Those waiting lists are entirely just because of funding and not because of the doctors. If you are in the- Oh, sorry. I thought I had downloaded all this shit before, but I guess not. Ooh, should I risk it and download that one as well? Yeah, I will. Let me uh, preload this. The EU or the UK, and you are an MD, a so, by the way, uh, someone confirmed this for me because I, I, I have my suspicions and I guess they're wrong. Is he not Australian? His accent is very distinctly Australian to me, but he lives in the UK and apparently has for some time. How long has this... Does anyone... Is like a fan of um, 
is anyone like a fan of this guy and happens to know offhand if he's like Australian? Because I'm curious. Um, let me. <laughs> Still works. He's he's a bong. West England. He's not an Australian. Okay. Sorry, I just I always thought he was Australian just because of how he spoke. I didn't realize that he was actually just English. Oh, the state of Englishmen. All right, I'll let him continue. Able to prescribe medication to people. Send me through an email and I'll... Oh, that's the important thing. If you're a doctor in the EU or UK and you can prescribe medication, get in touch with me. Forward it to the right people. There's an awful lot of reasons, which I can't talk about why I can't talk about it. I know it's going to be really hard to understand why I can't mention stuff like this, but you've really got to imagine this puts me, my family, and my girlfriend at risk. And I've talked to a lot of people, and they're willing to undertake that, which is amazing with them. But I do somewhat have to protect them and myself, because we've seen newspapers like The Times aren't really above, you know, straight up misinformation or doxing, which is fun. <laughs> I hmm. I wonder what he's afraid of. Could it be a retard who owns a Kiwi Farms from talking about his endeavors? Could be. I know that there's going to be some people that want to support it immediately, but you can't yet. I'm really sorry. As yeah, it is grating. He's like, listen up. I am super ethereal. This is a level 100 crucial danger situation. If I talk about the things I'm talking about, I will be the target of ultra racism, ultra xenophobia, ultra bigotry, the likes of which humanity has never seen before. If I talk about the things I'm talking about, you will see devastation, the likes of which uh, no Twitch streamer has ever endured since the, the plight of uh, Queen Falls. It just, yeah, it goes on and on. Like, I get you. I got it. But he uh, clarifies immediately before the end of the, the video. As soon as I can, I'll, I'll let you guys know, but there's some really nice work being done. And I'll give you updates as soon as I can give them, but I can't for a while. I can't give you too much too fast. So how could he possibly end this video that is like a full minute of fucking nothing burger by uh, immediately just revealing what he intends to do? Let's see and find out. Could you imagine if Finster is your fucking estrogen provider? I'm working on that motherfucker. Oh, okay, so you want to start up a charity to deliver estrogen to kids in the UK. Got it. Thanks. The whole fucking minute of who knows what nefarious thing that I'm up to. I'm up to something big. I promise you YouTube, but I can't say what. By the way, I'm going to start dealing estrogen like a fucking dope slinger, okay? Okay, got it. Thanks. <laughs> what a big fucking mystery. I wouldn't have been able to figure that one out for, for, for sure. Um, so that was his plan. Checking along that one somehow went beneath notice. Uh, that did not get picked up and it didn't get picked up until it was already ruined for you. See the United Kingdom has been saving up its L's to redeem them for one complimentary W. They have been saving up L's for the last, uh, 1000 years and they get one big W as a result, uh, for their trade-in. And they have, in Parliament, in the UK, passed a bill which bans puberty blockers for children. There is no joke. There is no punchline. There is no follow-up. The UK did something. And it's not retarded and gay. I can't even believe it. Nobody, nobody could possibly have seen this coming in a million years. Um, the only possible gotcha that I can pull on this is that supposedly if the conservatives are outed and are replaced with the labor, labor apparently might reverse it, but it remains to be seen because apparently labor also doesn't like the, the trans youth shit going on. It's just really unpopular in the UK. And I've, it's always kind of mystified me because the UK is such a shithole, but my, my theory is still the Seville theory where the, the UK had that really deep cultural wound of Jimmy Seville just being a pedophile monster, a pedophile monster. And now the UK is like hyper nonce sensitive and any kind of noncery that is sketch or sus to them, they immediately don't like it. So the whole trans youth shit has, I don't think has ever gone over well in the UK where they're okay with all sorts of horrors. But, um, because of that, because of what I call the Seville effect in the UK, I think that they're just super, super sensitive to that shit.
Whereas the, the U.S. is still retarded and just completely fucking blind. And even after Epstein got away with raping a bunch of kids and then uh, was murdered to cover it up, everyone's just like, yeah, whatever, trans youth. <laughs> I want to support the trans youth. Um, then... So I'm still waiting on that video to download. It's almost done. I'm downloading at the very brisk speed of 40 kilobytes per second. Um, and there is one minute left to download 4 megabytes. This is the true dial-up experience that I did not know existed in the year 2024, chat. But it's almost there. Josh has no idea what the U.S. is like anymore. Bro, I bet you when I get back, it's going to be fucking gay and retarded it's gonna be like shit the food's gonna fucking suck there's not gonna be good restaurants and there's gonna be pride rallies fucking everywhere because that uh, like i know <laughs> it's like uh, i don't think you realize i've still lived there most of my life i can imagine what's happened i, I just imagine that it's everything bad that was there before i left but worse is that wrong i left in um 2016 i think it hasn't been that long uh, so it's just going to be everything fucking bad, but worse. Don't know, don't know how I could possibly be wrong about that. All right, here's the video. It was made at 2.58 p.m. and laid before Parliament at 4, and it was passed. And so now this becomes a real thing that's actually happening. This isn't just like a bill in America where like, oh, maybe it's going to get voted. No, no, no. This is a real thing that is happening on the 3rd of June. What this dictates is that now it's officially going to be completely illegal for uh, under-18s to have access to gender-affirming care. <laughs> Ban. Uh, so, it specifically states in this that even if you're on a private... The NHS won't do it. That was already a thing. But now you can't even have it on a private prescription um, because... <clears throat> What's it called? So. Uh, oh, wow, they got this in right before Parliament dissolved. Lovely. Um, so. Lovely. Lovely. You can't yeah. even get it on a private prescription. And the sale of, like, puberty blockers is not banned. You can have it. But it specifically says this is only in effect for anything other than... Um, or, so, sorry. This is only in effect for... Um, people with gender dysphoria so hold on i'll grab you the i'll grab you the lineup da, 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 da. let's see let me find it for the purpose of the paragraph four, treatment is treatment for the purpose of pu okay treatment is treatment for the purpose of so it's banned for one no. minute he has not had the surgery he has had a rhinoplasty i think he might he's had a rhinoplasty to reduce the size of his nose um but he hasn't had facial feminization surgery which i assume that he had had uh he he has his penis and if you're interested yes he absolutely does sell it on only fans we'll get to that i remember there you go uh except all those on our team for the purposes of paragraph five, I uh, saw the images, bro. The trannies think it's like an epic own to like send me the porn of Fenster, like just naked on on Twitter, as if I give a fuck. Like I know what a man looks like. <laughs> I've seen a penis before; it's attached to my body. You're not gonna like surprise me with like random photos of Fenster and his boyfriend. Um. So, which is for? There you go. Is the purpose for which the private prescription was issued is a purpose other than treatment for purpose... Oh my god, Jesus, the word purpose. For the purpose of puberty suppression in the respect of gender dysphoria, gender incongruence, or a combination of the both. And these are two actual, like, um, diagnoses, too. So they're not denying it's real. They just don't want it to be treated. Um, <clears throat> this is in the ex exceptions paragraph. So, like, it's you can still get these drugs, but only if you're not transgender. <laughs> So anyway, a bunch of kids are going to die, which is really fun. That. That. Uh, my, when I heard that, I thought my, my inner journal was like, oh, I'm, I'm shaking. <laughs> what a dumb th fucking thing to say. <laughs> I'm going to clip that, motherfucker. <laughs> of course, he goes on to explain that he only cares about the little...
saving saving the lives of poor trans children and trans folks who need that life saving estrogen. Uh, <laughs> uh, that I, awkward laugh was him realizing how fucking retarded he just sounded. I don't think anyone really knows what to do about that. And quite frankly, everyone in the group chat for the charity is freaking the fuck out because a lot of the people that run these have Only trans kids. Late Kappa. What so, did I miss? What did I miss? So yeah, that happened yesterday. There's not really a solution to this. I wish I could come in and say, this is what we're doing about it, but we don't have a fucking idea. The best things that we've got that we're working on and that I'm putting some funding towards is essentially just like suicide prevention. Like the charity has shifted gear a little bit from it's still doing what it's still doing what it's supposed to. But yeah, now that's something we've got to worry about. Well, that's something that we want to worry about because no one else is going to do it. And also, a lot of these, the, a lot of the places that are prescribing, like uh, puberty blockers or like gender care for people under the age of 18, they're probably going to go out of business, right? Or at least you'd think they're probably going to stop offering things like that. Think like gender GP, places like that. So. So. He went from. Um... Keffels on on steroids to uh, Trans Lifeline 2.0 UK Boogaloo uh, immediately after this bill is passed. I still got to do something to give me access to trans children, but what could it be? If I can't give them the titty sprinkles that they so desire and crave, uh, maybe I can do a suicide prevention hotline instead. So that's his plan. I heard this and I thought, wow, that's fucking disgusting. So I clipped that down to a minute and a half. And I post it on Twitter, and I will read what I said. Um, Fenster Jude Howarth, a pornographer and children's entertainer on Twitch. Uh, oh wow! So I can't believe I got shared so much on, and I completely missed is right there. Uh, he has seven hundred thousand followers on Twitch and almost one million on Twitter. In this video, he talks about setting up a British non-profit for delivering hormones to children, only for it to be torpedoed by Parliament. Uh, Jude does pornographic videos. Bella Delphine, one of the most successful porn stars, has collaborated with him to help him reach his target audience, horny boys. Through a combination of lighting, filters, angles, drugs, and surgery, he meets a porn industry standard of a T-girl. Uh, exposing young boys to transgenderism is called pink-pilling and is a fetish. You will frequently see transgenders bragging about their pink-pill count. He profits directly off of Twitch, YouTube, and OnlyFans. He also sells sex, sex toys through his company, The Sissy Supplies. This is the only thing I got wrong. Um, he does not own the sissy supplies. He has a, uh, deal with them basically. And I'll, I'll go back or I'll go through everything again a second time and explain, uh, more. Uh, he also profits through sexual gratification. His discord server is open to teens and has close to 40,000 users. In it, there are multiple public channels under the Rainbow Road to help teens find their sexuality. Teens are who are, of course, directed to other T-girl porn stars. Now, this is an interesting thing that I have to expand on later. Um, so this is the, uh, the Fencer Discord. has 34,000 users. Rainbow Road, and then Advice, Questioning, and Closeted. Um, this person, this is just the literally the last message that I saw before I made this post. Uh, Atlantis Kraz says, is there any particular thing that tells you if you're trans or not? I'm like 99% sure I am, but I don't know for certain. Like in the past, I had feelings of wanting to be the opposite gender, but I never thought much of it and didn't know much about it until I started watching Finn and met my now partner, LOL. And now that I've been considering the thought so much more and genuinely do feel like being trans is what I am, but is there any particular way to know or anything like that? Uh, this person says there's no way that someone else can tell you if they're trans self-ID thing. But then this person, Ozzy Fanto, says this video might be of help. And this is a video by Icky. This name will be important later. Uh, Icky, the first thing on there is a Gumroad PDF file, um, which is a fun thing for this person to be selling, a PDF file, uh, on HRT Info. Uh, Shop T-Girl Essentials, uh, his YouTube channel, OnlyFans plus 18, Fansly plus 18, ManyBids plus 18, and he has an entire tic TikTok dedicated to helping the trans youth that has over 5 million likes in total. Uh, I say Jude, I continue, Jude gets more leeway than Keffel's because he passes better, is better at concealing his malicious intent, and only identifies as gender fluid. It helps his charade look more like a mere curious cross-dressing bisexuality instead of what it is, a groomer grooming with groomer friends. This is, if I remember correctly... 
And I, I, I tried to find out for sure, but I couldn't. That's obviously Finster. In the back is Chris Tyson, I want to say, the guy from Mr. Beast. And then in the middle, that's either I think that's either Soda Cat or that is Giggly Goon Clown. Because there was this picture was controversial a couple months ago when the Goon Clown stuff happened, um, and it was found out that Finster was uh, in was friends with someone called Gene Hollywood. I, and I left a little note for myself. Uh, Gene Hollywood, who's another trans uh, T-girl prostitute porn star, um, and was in a sex RP with Giggly Goon Clown, who was the um, guy who just openly said that he's a pedophile and jerks off to children and wants to m molest and, and uh, corrupt children. He's like one of the most disgusting people that we've ever had a thread on. Um, so that's Fenster standing next to you. I think that's, I think that's Goon Clown. Or... I'm I'm not sure. I tried to look this up. Um, I don't know. I don't really care. They're basically fucking gross. Uh, and of course, that's the Mr. Beast guy. So they're just hanging out together. Um, and then I added this much later, but I said, I'm getting a lot of defensive replies that Fenster is not a children's entertainer. I would really, really like to have these people tell me who they think this content creator's target demographic is. Uh, this is his YouTube channel that made him popular. Um, it is a diamond Minecraft character with a shoop-de-whoop face. Half a million subscribers, 584 videos, um, with 100,000 view videos about Minecraft on YouTube. Last video was 10 months ago. The um, Someone replied to this and said, Listen, when he started doing OnlyFans, he stopped doing the YouTube content for Minecraft. But the last video on YouTube was 10 months ago, and... He announced his OnlyFans over a year ago, so that's also wrong. Um, even if it is, the Finster Live name is, uh, like, it's just his live streaming channel, and it's directly attached to his name, and it was full of Minecraft kids. And he just started doing the cross-dressing shit later, and now he's full-on trying to get estrogen into the hands of kids. And one of the most common replies I got, there's, okay, there's, like, I, I got that image of, don't you know that she's trying to get estrogen to kids and then there's like a tranny and he's going, wow. But then there's like a thought bubble where he's just secretly saying base, 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 base. I saw that image like a hundred fucking times. So I just want you to know you can't try and tell a tranny that um, this person is too comfortable with fucking kids and they're trying to get estrogen into the hands of kids because they all love it. They think that's great. It's based. Um, so don't don't ever waste your fucking breath trying to tell a tranny some shit about this because they don't give a fuck. They find it awesome. Uh, don't even waste your fucking time. Uh, the other reply I got was a lot of people saying he's not a children entertainer. This is misrepresentation. But the number one reply that I got uh, so far out of hundreds, almost a thousand replies and uh, over 1.5 thousand reposts, a lot of those I'm assuming are, um, oh, quotes. It doesn't show me the, the number of quotes, but it's like, the number of um, replies that I got just saying, like, wow, I used to love this guy when he did Minecraft stuff. Like, that was the number one thing that I saw. So there was the number two thing was Tranny saying he doesn't do children's entertainment. This is anti-trans hysteronics. But then the number one reply I got was just like, wow, I didn't know that guy became a fucking weirdo after he stopped doing Minecraft stuff. <laughs> I used to watch him when I was, like, 13. He made Minecraft videos that I liked. It's, dude, they didn't know. They didn't know. They just followed him on, on fucking YouTube for the Minecraft stuff. And then the only the people that went over to his live streams and started watching him, like, like degrade were the ones that were exposed to the tranny shit. So a lot of his old fans that loved his Minecraft stuff are, like, in shock when they didn't, like, the ones that didn't come over on uh, to Twitch. So um, I, I, uh, I have followed this. Oh, I'll, I'll say that. Um now, let me go through this again. Okay, so, uh, yes, he is a pornographer. People also disputed this, but not nearly as much. He posts nude pictures of himself. There's an implied, there's like a weird implied blowjob video where it's either him or uh, his boyfriend, like, sucking dick, but it's like all, it's all, like, implied. So it's like he's definitely getting closer and closer to doing hardcore videos, but his, like, ass and dick are just out there everywhere. So you can't say that he's not doing nude stuff. And then there are some trainees trying to differentiate between, like, hardcore pornography and just him posting nudes and selling them as, like, a femboy trap on fucking OnlyFans. Uh, fuck off with that.
Um, and this, I, I really felt like I should... By the way, I, I guarantee you I would not have gotten 12,000 likes on this. I had to edit out... I There were several drafts of this tweet where I talked about Bella Delphine. Um, I call her Jewish in most of them, and then at the last second I decided to yank that. <laughs> But just in case you're wondering, Bella Delphine is Jewish. I just, I just went, I want my audience, the ones that uh, are are hip to that kind of thing, to know, just in case. Um, but she met with him, and they did like, I don't think they had sex because I, I, I imagine that Finster can't have sex with women anymore. Um, but they, they did like a weird photo shoot together, and it's like you can't tell me that that isn't to attract more young boys. Like, who is the target demographic of Bella Delphine? Young boys. Who are they coming over to see? Um, I guess... And, oh, this was the other thing I didn't hammer that I really wanted to. This picture sells to confuse boys the idea that if you transition and become a tranny, you can have your Yuri sleepover, like, cuddle session with attractive young women... And, and that Yuri, that thing where it's like trannies really want to have like Yuri lesbian sleepovers is like a really big fetish for them. And he's telling people, you, you troon out as like a teenager, you get, you get that shit young enough. You got to do this real young so that you uh, feminize better. But you do that real young, you can be like a lesbian and women will be into you, which is a fucking lie. They all end up fucking each other. All these trannies fuck each other because no women will touch them. Uh, so that, this, this is like really insidious to me. And I know it sounds weird cause it's just like a picture of them being fucking weirdos with each other, but I know what they're doing. I know they're selling that shit to teenage boys who are like confused and, and don't know if they feel masculine enough. They don't have that confidence yet. Uh, which is the, the insidious thing that porn does to teenage boys is that it really whittles their confidence in the same way that people say it does with women. But if men are on honest, it does. It has a, and people can't talk about it because if you talk about like that kind of thing, people start like accusing you of stuff. And I'm done with that. I'm tired of not being able to criticize gay people because that makes me secretly gay, or criticizing trannies because that makes me secretly a tranny chaser, or criticizing porn because of whatever fucking reason. Enough. I don't give a fuck. You can say that about me. I don't care. Um, this shit fucks with you. When you're young and you don't know who you are and you don't know if you can be a man yet and you haven't figured out what it means to be a man, this shit fucks with you. And he's showing this to his audience uh, who are mostly young boys. And he's like, no, really, if you take the pink pill, you can have hot lesbian sex just like I do, teehee. Even though he's like the top point, you know, 0.1 percent of like trannies in terms of like financial success and stuff. This won't be you if you turn out. You know what will be you? A fucking grave. You'll kill yourself because you look like a fucking freak. You look like this guy. This is most people who troon out. Most people don't troon out and look like Finster. Most people troon out and look like this fucking ogre that has to sue people for making fun of them. Um, but I, I really, I could have gone off more about this. I, I, I held back a lot because I would have been completely off topic. Um, then this, this is his, uh, the Sissy Supplies thing. This is the only thing I really got wrong. Um, he is not the owner of Sissy Supplies. But he was reviewing like a cock cage. This was another thing. He doesn't. The people that were that took the other stance and said, "Okay, so he is he is a 13 plus PG 13 streamer, but he he just he's just gender fluid. He's in his own body. He's in his own room and he's streaming and he's keeps it PG 13." There is a fucking video of him reviewing a cock cage. Because on April 1st, the Lock Picking Lawyer, which is a very successful YouTube channel that does funny videos that are like kind of like um, a little bit sexual every April 1st. That's his recurring joke. On this April 1st, he did a cock cage lock picking tutorial. Um, Finster reviewed this. So he's doing the PG-13 plus thing and he's showing a cock cage to his audience. Then... Um, he's talking about his experience with the cock cage. He's complaining about how the cock cage he's reviewing is small, and he says that he has a really big dick and with uh, huge balls, and they don't fit into a, uh, a cock cage, and he's complaining about this. And um, then someone asked him about this store called the Sissy Supplies, and he's talking about it very tongue-in-cheek, just talking about buying sex toys. And then the actual owner of Sissy Supplies watches his fucking YouTube channel, or his Twitch streams, and contacts him through the Twitch DMs. And on the spot, 
Over the course of 18 minutes, he starts reviewing off-screen the sex toys, gets a referral code for the sex toy shop with a discount and commission rate, and advertises the sissy supply shit um, on his channel. So it's like, okay, he wasn't the owner, but he... You know, the video of him becoming, like, an advertiser for the Sissy Supplies, and they advertise on their site, by the way. This is what this is. Sissy Supplies Finster, the only Sissy Supplies store trusted by the most manly sissy on the internet. And then there's a picture of him before and after because destroy the child, consume the child is funny. Uh, go from this to this, and then credit to Finster. And that's his uh, one of his uh, true affiliates is the store. Um, and they abs- by the way, a lot of people took issue saying, I've never heard of pink pilling like this. I've never heard people bragging about their pink pill account. Yeah, but I have. Trust me, bro. I have heard that. Um, and then I read through these screenshots, but this is literally the first thing that I saw. I just went to the Discord. I went to the advice thing, and this was like a message from that day. And that day. And one thing I didn't know when I made this, by the way, is that that Icky guy, his name is literally Big Icky. And he is Finster's boyfriend. He also does OnlyFans. They do OnlyFans stuff together. Um, and Icky is way more about, like, destroy the child, consume the child. Like, that's his entire persona. He does um, voice training advice. He does passing advice and skincare advice. And then does, like, a whole TikTok channel full of advice videos for teen, LGBTQI, P plus youth. Like, that's his entire thing. And I guarantee you... That Finster hooked up with this dude, and this guy is part of the reason why he's accelerating so fast. Like, it went from, uh, he's, like, just doing it as a joke, he's just doing it for money, um, you know, it's funny to him, it's trolling, to, like, gender fluid, trying to get estrogen in the hands of nine-year-olds. Like, I guarantee you that Icky, Icky is probably a lot more uh, closer to a goon clown than Finster is. And I didn't, I didn't even know that this was, um... Uh, this advice video being shilled. And nobody, by the way, nobody mentioned, nobody pointed this out to me. None of the trannies, they said, so they're linking to another person's YouTube videos. None of them had the audacity while defending Finster and saying that this is somebody else's video and it doesn't, it's not him doing it. Nobody fucking mentioned to me. Oh yeah, by the way, that's his boyfriend. They live together. They fuck. They fuck and they record it and they post it on the internet for money. Nobody had the, the balls uh, ironically to tell me this and yeah I went over the googly giggly goon clown shit um, Finster by the way his defense for this picture was that he didn't know them they met up by happenstance in New York um, once off thing and it's a guilt by association by association um, so yeah so that's the Finster shit uh, this got retweeted by um, Ian Miles Chong who uh, just took the video with the wrong dates instead of using the corrected version with the correct dates uh, down here. And then um, Libs of TikTok stole it from uh, In Mouse Chong and then didn't even credit me, I don't think. <laughs> and also used the version with the wrong dates, even though the version with the right fucking dates is right fucking there to use. I don't even ask for credit. I'm just saying. Um, so and th- so across those other copies, you know, there's million, millions of more views. Uh, so, despite his channel or his Discord server having, did she credit me? It, it showed up in the caption. It was like a video, like she shared the media, but didn't like uh, add the at. So I just assumed that, that was like a copyright thing that it automatically linked to me. I don't know how that works. Um, Ian, Ian at least had the the balls to directly tag me. Uh, so these are screen caps from the Discord. It has thirty five thousand members, but it's kind of slow, which means that either it's just like dead or. Um, a lot of the channels are private, which is what I imagine is, is the reality. Um, Libs of t- they're, they're responding to the Libs of TikTok tweet uh, saying, yeah, let's not bring that topic up here. The current Twitter thing is being managed. Janny News X, trainee, sweeping it up. Don't talk about the Twitter thing here. It's being managed by top men. Mm, top men. I wonder what could be happening behind the scenes. VIP Mimi says, okay, chat, do I ask for more progesterone? I'm at my doctor's office. Pull it. Uh, I, progesterone, by the way, is a, is a hormone thing for estrogen. VIP Lilith. Oh, another Lilith. Wow. I wonder if Lilith is cis. There's always a possibility. You can never tell. You can never tell if a Lilith is cis or not. 
Lilith says, I say yes. And then uh, immediately backs it up by saying yes. And then Alex, who is a moderator, like a head mod, says, can I get your mother's phone number? Which is weird. I don't know why he's asking that. Uh, Grat says, what's going on with the controversy surrounding Finn? Uh, Io says, Yapaholics mixtapes. And then at Latinus Kraz, uh, who is well on his way to voice training uh, under under with Icky videos, Icky ASMR in the background, says, Yibbity Yap. Amanda says, none of it is real, of course. Blue Ticks on Twitter used to be really good. Now it's just... Man, I used to, <laughs> back before, I mean, back before random people could be verified and was only the safe and allowed opinions that were allowed to be verified on Twitter, back then Twitter was good. Now all this riffraff is talking about shit. It just sucks. Manager Cha Sui says, I considered writing a debunk or fact check thread, but there's no amount that's going to convince those people. That's me. I mean, you, chat. Nobody says there's a Finn controversy. Uh, I says, no, just Twitter drama. Mimi says there always is, sadly. Atlantis Crew says, no, just not some not nice people making stuff up. Nothing I fucking said is wrong. None of this is wrong. I have screen caps for literally every fucking thing that I say. Lilith replies and says, nah, just some bullshit made up by hateful bigots that nobody loves. My chat loves me. I'm just going to say it. I have. I at least have my chat. Do you have my chat, Lilith? I don't think so. I think you were consumed by the. You, you as a child, you were consumed and destroyed. Uh, b -b -b nobody says I don't love hateful bigots. And then Atlantis Crew says, though it didn't involve me, I got used as an example of one of those teens being groomed. Lamau. There is more to this. There is a lot more to this Fenster shit. Uh, my eyes have been opened. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what his reaction is. I can't wait for his video where he tries to keffles the Kiwi Farms and hashtag drop Kiwi Farms. I think that's coming. Uh, so one of the things that I noticed, there's one more tweet in this that you can't see. There was a tweet after this tweet that isn't in this chain. Here is what that tweet said. Look at how easy it is to get to his OnlyFans from his general audience streams. And... The first image is a about section that links to his uh, a Twitter account. On his uh, X account, he has a direct link to his OnlyFans. So literally, 13 plus stream, click, click, I'm on the, the Finster porn page. By the way, <laughs> one of the things I noticed while looking at his profile is that he's followed by Brandon Herrera, a recent uh, follow of mine. Um, and literally, Finster's account is nothing but tranny porn. It's literally just him in skirts showing off his ass. So I, <laughs> I just at Brandon Herrera, what the fuck? Um, and since then, he has unfollowed Finster. Um, the, the cope that I have heard from the AK Guy fans is that apparently both Brandon Herrera and Finster are like big recurring guests on a podcast called PKA, who, by the way, have never invited me because they know I'm a tranny basher, and supposedly Woody, the head guy that used to do the podcast with Wings of Redemption, uh, is a huge tranny chaser. And so I'm persona non grata, and they will never invite me onto their show. That's what I've been told. I don't know. This is just my um, my my schizoid theory, but that's what uh, I've, I've been informed. Anyways, this tweet was, like bend i don't know what the fuck happened to it it stopped getting views like this all those tweets they had um i'll, sh I'll even show you here uh, it doesn't show up on my my reply timeline it doesn't show up as a reply to the actual post um and then if you look at the i i found a direct link only because someone had done a thread reader and this um link still worked and went to this post and then i looked the top post at the time had 3.7 million and then three point or three hundred seventy eight thousand. 359,000, so each reply got slightly less after the big drop-off from the first post. And then the final one, this one that had been hidden, got hidden at 188.2 thousand views. So at some point, at 188.2 thousand views, um, they, Twitter just like pressed a button on this post and like obliterated it from memory. You cannot find it unless you have a direct link to it. And I really don't know why. Um, someone suggested to me that because I use the word OnlyFans, that that triggered some kind of automated action. But if that's true, why did it wait 
for like 12 hours. And then after it had been seen 188,000 times decide that it was going to going to hide it. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I'm assuming I'm forced to assume that Twitter still has uh, like shadow bans for content that are manually applied uh, when someone like Brandon Herrera gets made fun of. That's just weird. Um, cool. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.